Hello from Slide Nerd and hello from Waves. In the last video, we talked about how to make the list view 175% faster with a design pattern called the View Holder Design Pattern. In this video, let's actually go ahead in Android Studio and implement the View Holder Design Pattern. Now, if you guys are seeing this code, this is the same code which I have been building in the last eight or nine videos. So, if you haven't seen those videos, please go ahead and check them out. As you can currently see, the output for the code looks something like this. Now, if you run this, well, it's actually very rough to use because the get view method is very highly inefficient. In other words, there's a lot of things going on inside the get view method every time it gets called and it's taking too much memory. So, we are going to reduce this using the view holder design pattern. So, based on the last video where I was talking about how you can make it, first, let's create a class called view holder. That is going to contain this image view, this text view, and this text view. The idea behind making that class is we are going to save this find view by ID call by running this only once. So here I'm going to say go class my view holder. It's going to have the image view. All right, so I have these three references created. Now, if you guys remember, every time get view gets called, we have this find view by ID running here three times, right? So we want to reduce that. So here, inside my my view holder constructor what i want to do is initialize these objects so that i don't have to keep calling find view by id again and again so one time i'm going to just initialize them now the problem is for calling find view by id i need an object of type view which i can get from this parameter over here so i can say view v and then here i can say v dot find view by id r dot id dot image view right Again, at this point, it's going to give an error. We have to do the type casting. Press Alt Enter in your Android Studio and just press Enter, right? So let's let me go ahead and repeat the same step for finding the text view, which is my title and the other text view, which is my description over here. All right. So at this point, I have my class view holder, which has these three uh, references. And then they have been initialized once inside the constructor of my view holder. So remember one thing, whenever I call the constructor, these three things are going to run and that means we'll be running find view by id right so that is one problem solved now the next thing is i need to get this view row equals to convert view now if you guys remember this convert view is null when the first time you're creating a row it is not null when you're reusing an instance of an already created row which is not being used and that is what object recycling was all about so here view row is this and i'm also going to create an instance of my view holder and I'm going to call it holder equals to null. So if you are creating the row for the first time, perform the layout inflation. All right. So for that, I'm going to say if row equals equals null, which means I'm creating the row for the first time, right? So if I'm creating a row for the first time, I perform the layout inflation here by saying inflator is blah, 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 right? And then I also initialize my holder by saying holder equals to new my view holder. And if you guys remember, we need a view V here for the parameter list, right? Here, I'm going to simply pass the row. So in other words, this row actually contains this root relative layout over here, which is at the single row dot XML, right? So here, this row contains that relative layout. So when I pass this relative layout inside here, the relative layout goes and I can use that relative layout to find the other views inside, which is the image view and the text views over here, right? And that is how it works. So the holder has been set. Now, there is one more thing I need to do. I need to store this holder so that whenever I can, I'm recycling stuff, I don't have to create the holder again. So for that, I'm going to say row dot set tag. Now this set tag is a method by which you can store some object inside a view object. So here I'm going to simply pass my holder inside. Now, if you guys are not following this one step, which I just did, don't worry in the next step, everything will be clear. Now, remember the else part runs when I'm recycling stuff, right? So whenever I'm recycling, I don't want to create an object of holder. I simply want to reuse an existing object of holder. So here I can simply say row dot get tag. And this is going to give me my holder back. I can press alt enter, perform the type casting because this returns a java dot lang dot object. And I need uh, my view holder here. So now hopefully you guys get the bigger picture. The first time I create a row, I simply uh, do the inflation. I create my holder and that does the task of find view by IDs over here. And then 
I store it here and then whenever I'm recycling, I'm not creating a new holder. I'm simply reusing an already created holder which was stored inside this row object with the help of the set tag method by using get tag over here. And that's it. We are done. So here, remove the find view by ID calls everywhere. Find view by ID, this one, all three of them. And now we simply need to use, we need to set values over here, right? Now remember, we can set values on these fields over here by simply accessing this my view holder class instance. So here I can say holder dot my image, which is gonna be this image. And then I can say set image resource on that. Same way, I can say holder dot my title dot set text. And I can say holder dot my description dot set text. All right. Now let's do one small thing inside here where a new row is being created. Let's put a log statement and I'm going to say log dot D. I'm going to put the tag as weaves and the message as creating a new row. All right. Now just you will guys will understand exactly how many times recycling happens and how many times a new row is being created. So here I'm going to say simply recycling stuff. So remember here. When I'm using my constructor, that is when the find view by ID methods get called. Otherwise, they don't get called here at all or anywhere over here. So that means I'm saving a lot of resources. And again, layout inflator runs only when my row is being created for the first time. That is when convert view is null, right? So let's actually go ahead and run this by saying control S, click run here at the top. So now my emulator is finally running here. If I go browse down. You can notice things are very, very fast this time. Very, very smooth, 175%. So if you guys go here to the log cat below, take a look. The number of times your recycling is so much more than the number of times you're creating rows over here. And that means one, two, three, or sometimes some eight or 10 numbers over here. That is all the number of times I had the inflator and I had this instance of holder being created, which means find view by ID ran a very, very few times, right? So that makes our code very, very efficient. So hopefully you guys have understood something out of this video. If you like what you saw, please subscribe to my channel, comment, let me know your thoughts. I would love to hear from you guys. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next bit. Have a nice day.